Somebody's hungry, he said. I had to wait and finish chewing. My stepmom always told me not to talk with my mouth full. I like croissants more, I said. The bread's unlike anything. You want another one? He got up and got me another one. It was fresh and warm, just like the whole enchilada. In Oakland morning, in a bakery, remarkably fresh and warm all of a sudden. He watched me and smiled. I smiled a little and watched him back. I found it funny, both of us watching one another. I laughed. Then I got uncomfortable and let my eyes dart around the room before settling back upon the Buddha. The perseverating thought in my mind, why me? While scanning his interior with tacit unexpected permissions, I found the most wonderful man in there, the soft, delicious center of a tumultuous life worth living, a miracle to behold. All the times Freddie been stabbed, shot, fought, beat down by the law and the lawless, all sixty or so years locked down in this crazy world. Wow, I was speechless. My jaw fell loose and my lips began to tremble. There, facing him, facing me, telling me it was going to be all right, telling me how sorry he really was the way it all went down so bad, so hard, telling me how, yes, he had tested me. I was right. He knew I knew he knew, and that if I only trusted him, if I only gave over a little faith in him, I might find what I was searching for, a home at last at last a home and he was sorry he was truly sorry it all went down like this the force the trauma but there was no other way blue such as life gotta accept it stop fighting let someone in the only way no more i i pulled back and fell into the plush foam behind the vinyl covering the booth i couldn't take it i could only look at him from behind my tears and how it all had hit me and who he was and what he had been through. So terrible, so bad. And how finally, for once in my life, there was someone who I never would have any question had my back. So certain on point here, this crazy man in this crazy world was the eye of the hurricane where I might finally relax and just be. Be my crazy self and the insanity of it all. And so it was. On the seventh day, the gods whispered, rest. All I remember then was him helping me up and out of there. And I let my weight fall into him and walked to the beat of his walk, slightly crooked but firm, back to the van. He slid open the side door and sat me down in the metal and sat down next to me and held me in his arms. He held me in his arms. I wasn't crying or anything, but I had been touched, and I could breathe different now, deeper, and I breathed in the leather and the tobacco and oil, beneath which was the aura of a man who would be my refuge on these streets, on these mean streets.